I was motivated by by the idea as a teenager um, that this that this that this that this internet was was this utopian space, this free space, and and that it that it shouldn't be controlled or filtered or segmented or chopped up into little blocks and distributed out here and there, um, and that it should be open and free, and anyone in the world should be able to use it. Right, and you recognise now that what you were doing. Well, certainly was illegal. Well, you recognise at the time it was illegal. But do you still think there was any justification for what you did? No, I think I think a lot of what I what we started to do with anonymous. I think there's still a place for 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 the, that kind of idea, the kind of I, I, idea of, of of freedom online. But we got a little bit out of hand. I think being a black hat hacker. Uh, a black hat, hacker. black hat hacker, which was a hacker that would that would that would uh, attack websites uh, outside of the law. Um, we it, it was stressful. It's a stressful community to be in. It's ten percent at the time fun and ninety percent paranoia. You're constantly <laughs> worried that other hackers will find your identity. You're worried about sleeping at certain hours in case your time zone is pinned down. Um, the administrative gubbins of being a hacker is is a bit of a faff in comparison to what actually occurs. And right. so, I, I, so, so, so a lot of effort and not much gain. Yes, is precisely. Really